one. So I'm here with Miss Al. Al today, how you doing? Doing good. How you feeling tonight? I'm feeling good. Feeling we good. Are feeling good. The thirteenth annual Oscar Thomas. Okay. Can you I'm tell happy. me a little bit about Oscar Thomas? Uh, this brother. I used to just watch him in amazement when he painted. Right. He, he was a uh, surrealism. Okay. And like I say, it was real. They called it surrealism. <laughs> <laughs> but to me, it was real. It was real. I mean, his paintings were so lifelike. Mm -hmm. It was just unbelievable. It's sad to say that a lot of his murals yeah. are no longer with us. But uh, this is a brother that I felt that had to be remembered. Okay. And stuff. You know, I met him because I was always hanging out at Afro and books and things. Right. So I finally met him. I looked at his artwork and... I was just like, man, who is this brother, man? <laughs> this brother, yeah. It's pretty serious. Ooh. So, um, while the bookstore had a gallery mm -hmm. inside at that time, and a lot of his work just overpowered everybody else. Right. right. And, you know, so we had a relationship. Uh, I used to call him my spiritual brother. I love him dearly. Okay. It's and I feel that... You know, what he gave to live the city, mm -hmm. you know, we should be proud of and try to expand upon. Like I say, his mural's not here no more. Right. But his memory should always right. be. Right, right. His work is, uh, like you say, real and real. Wow. <laughs> I remember one time working in the, in the bookstore, and uh, the Wells had asked me to kind of like, you know, straighten up the paintings. All right, I'm going to go do that, right? Right. So I'm in there going through the paint, dip, popping, popping. I came across this painting of Booger T. Washington. Mm -hmm. It was so real, I found myself reaching out my hands to shake his <laughs> hand. I had to catch myself. I had to leave the gallery because I was like, no, wait a minute, hold on. That's how real the paint was. Wow. I'm telling you, wow. that's how real the paint was. And here I'm looking at a flat surface, but like, wow, man, this brother here. So we got some of his work over here, and okay. there he is, a few pieces. We got a few pieces. Uh, this is his gallery, uh, the photos by uh, James A. Rush. Uh, he had a yeah. gallery on 55th Street, right by the bookstore. Okay. Uh, like you can see his, 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 you know. And the thing about him, he was so fast when he did it. Yeah. Speedy guns out. <laughs> and he ain't taking no two or three days to do this. Right, right, right. It's like 45 minutes, and it's like, wow. Yeah, he was good. That is amazing. Good. I think this picture was on the bookstore, and I think that one also was on the bookstore. Mandela. Yeah, he used to always uh, put a mural on the bookstore. I came in here the other day, and I screamed out Marcus Garvey in my head for some reason. I don't know why I just yeah, did, that, that but Mandela. Mandela. Yeah. And here you see, when Mandela came to Miami, yes. when it was some ruckus, I just happened to get a photo. Somebody gave me this photo of him. On the airplane, meeting Nelson and Winnie Mandela. Wow. So every year, I kind of like, just like, look, it's part of it. This painting here, mm -hmm. uh, I met uh, Henry Wayne from China. Oh. And he looked at a black and white photo, mm -hmm. took the photo with him. The next day, this is what he brought me. And wow. Thank you. I'm telling it's close. Yes. It's very close. Yes. Oh, God. I, was I knew it was him. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I knew it was yeah, him. As you can see, that's what I'm saying. I gave him a black and white photo. Right. And he brought it to life. He brought me life. I got some work to do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, where? what's the location here? What's the name of the gallery? We're at the Amazoli Gallery at the African Heritage Cultural Arts Center, 6161 Northwest. Uh, 22nd Avenue or 2121 or 2127 MLK Boulevard. Okay. I'd like to thank you for giving me this great interview. Yes, my friend. And I appreciate it. And um, take let the people see some more of the pictures. Yeah, we want them to come down and enjoy the art. How much is it to get in? It's free. It's free. The art is free, but now if you want something off the wall to go with you, you have to make arrangements <laughs> with the art. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. But we want to let people know that black art is alive. Mm -hmm. You know, it's real, and it is art. It definitely is. It definitely is. And this brother here, oh man, he needs to be just right. <laughs> <laughs> great job, man. Oh, he's an artist right here. You can interview Alvin. 
Alvin is just like, that's Alvin. I'm I was looking at that when I came in. I was like, I've never seen this style before. Alvin on, but I want some more. Definitely want some of that. That is just like, wow. I want to get you painted on the back. I mean, he, he is painted backwards. Painting backwards? Painted from the back side. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was telling the young brother. The gods are here. The visual artists are right up on the beat. You hear that, D? Hmm? You hear that? I mean, but that's where we are. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And what's your name again? Pondexter Alvin. Pondexter Alvin. That is a prestigious name. <laughs> I like that name, man. Wow, we've been blessed today. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Make a comment and come on out and visit.